Head to the left. More. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, let's put your arm out to the side here. Uh. Baba, look. Do you want to paint? Oh. Arts for All is hard to encapsulate in just one sentence. We're an art center. I'm making a base. Ceramics, dance, drama, music. We're a preschool. What's that one? We're an after school program. Wait, 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 I'll do it. I'll do and we're a day treatment and training for adults with disabilities. We are open to all children. We cater to primarily those with disabilities or special needs. I felt that children with disabilities, they needed to be on the giving end. Most of the time, people were doing for them, but they didn't have a chance to give. Give me this arm. You're going to put it down by your side, OK? And stretch it out. It's very difficult to try to paint something if your body isn't taken care of. So at Arts for All, you can come and express yourself on the canvas and at the same time know that if you should have a personal need, do we need to help you in the bathroom? Do you need a drink? Do we need to help you eat? You will be taken care of. It's more of a holistic approach. Wow. Their souls being touched, their emotions, their intellect, and their physical self. Better relax. They're getting it all in one place. No place else does this. Is it going to be strictly red violet? When you look at some of our participants, you might just see someone in a wheelchair, somebody who does not speak. But with LAT, with a laser, they are able to transport their thoughts onto a canvas where someone acting as their hands can you bring the laser over where you want the first point to start? And yes, a painting may take three months, five months, but it's their painting from start to finish. You want to go down here? We look at the abilities of people. How's that? What can they do? It doesn't matter if they're in a wheelchair and they can't speak. That teacher knows that they have creativity and imagination. How do they get to it? How do they tap it? It doesn't matter what kind of cognitive disability you may have, physical disability, whatever it is. Everyone has feelings. Everyone is capable of taking those feelings, those emotions, and translating them into art. Slowly so he can get it, slowly. Get it, get it, Junior! What we're finding is that playtime and art are vital to the learning process. So we're going to make it by pressing it, right? And then we're going to put it right here on top. So see how it becomes a spoon shape? The brain is incredibly plastic. We know this. We know that if a center of the brain isn't working quite the way that it should, we can use other centers of the brain to help draw in concepts. You may not understand talking to me. You may not understand the concept of, say, friendship. But by doing by doing a scene, by making it relevant, by participating, you start to understand that concept because we're using a different part of your brain. So it makes a difference when they go to school. It makes a difference on their work when they go to school, on mathematics. When, when kids are in art classes, they learn to process, they learn to think, they learn to problem solve. It's magic. We have kids that have come here in wheelchairs that have left walking, people that couldn't speak, you couldn't understand them, would practice and practice their lines for a play till they got up on stage and everyone could understand them. But it's because the people that come here believe in our students, believe in the potential of humans. We have breakthroughs every day that probably wouldn't happen if, unless they were in this class. And I've had parents come to me and say, when my child wasn't here, his grades went down. When he's here, he's a different person. He concentrates in school. He problem solves. He thinks. Then you're going to make him, yeah, we're going to make him maze inside. Money is tight everywhere today. The state contracts, they're taking a 10% cut across the board. But we are committed to still serve these people 100 percent. We're not going to cut our services to them 10 percent. So we really need the public to step in and help us subsidize. With the cuts from the state, with our rates going down, with the number of kids being subsidized through our 
child care services, with all of those numbers down, we need donations now more than ever. Watch me, okay? Take my timing. You're bonding with people. And these people, even though they may scream at you one moment, the next moment they're going to turn around and they're going to be so glad to see you. It's incredible. It's a beautiful experience. <laughs> Our AmeriCorps members work with staff and the teachers to assist uh, our participants. I can go home from a university class and go, oh man, they didn't get anything I said to them today. I can go home from here every day knowing that I made a difference in somebody's life. Run and swing, that's it, Whee! Let's see a big swing, Junior, big swing.